Welcome to State of Tech. My name's Jared Hill, and we're gonna take a look at a awesome feature on the Moto X phone and show you how to set it up. It is how to set up the uh, automatic um, voice activation for uh, for Google Now. Um, this is a neat feature in Moto X. This is the first phone that has had this feature, and it is amazing. Um, the phone actually will walk you through the setup process on its own, but if for some reason you haven't been able to find this setup, um, or it's it hasn't came up um, we're gonna go ahead and look at um, setting it up ourselves so I'm gonna tap on settings and we're gonna go down to touchless control now um, there are some options here in touchless control um, I can have control of my phone using hands-free by uh, voice commands um, I can also train the launch phrase which is part of the automatic setup that um, the phone should walk you through but like I said um, if for some reason it hasn't walked you through that you can do that yourself or if it's just not working too well you can you know re redo the training phrase um, Call when locked is another feature that you can turn on or off because you can use voice activation to launch a phone call and other stuff like that. And you can choose speaker phone whether or not to have the phone go straight to a speaker uh, as opposed to, you know, launching the call and then you have to use the earpiece uh, in the phone. Um, using speakerphone, I, I mean, if you're using voice activation, you might be doing that because you uh, aren't touching the phone or you don't want to have to touch the phone. So in order to have to keep from having to go into speakerphone mode after launching the call, you can just have it automatically do that. Confirm before calling. Always place a call without confirming. Uh, if I'm telling it to do that and make the call, I don't necessarily want to have to tap the phone to confirm, so I just have that shut off, but you can go ahead and confirm uh, without, place the call without confirming, confirm based on calling history, or always ask before. Um, and then uh, here, the help, basically it just, here's the phrase that we're going to be uh, using in order to invoke uh, the different features that are available here. So let's do the training phrase process. Let's tap. Now it's this is the process that it would have the phone would have taken you through on your own, but um, we can go ahead and do that and re-record these phrases. It suggests that you hold the phone a distance away because it needs to learn the way that your voice would sound when the phone is setting down. For example, like it is right now, I'm sitting a little bit away from the phone with the device on a table, and it would want to hear a situation like that as opposed to the phone up close to my face. Now, um, you do this process three times, and I'm not going to go through it because I already have, but you do this process three times so that it has kind of different variations of your voice, um, and, uh, and this is how it learns to be consistent with knowing that it is in fact you as opposed to other people. So once you've set this up and you have these features set up uh, the way that you want, you can have your phone technically in rest mode and you could say, okay Google now, what's the weather like today? Awesome. Let's do another one. Okay, Google Now, text message daily app show. Now, it obviously didn't recognize that, probably because in my contacts list, daily app show is all one word and was a little bit harder to recognize. So it went ahead and showed me a Google, uh, a Google search result instead. Not bad, but it does work relatively well when you ask it to call specific people um, by name, even businesses as well. Let's uh, go ahead and try another feature. Okay, Google Now, open camera. And there it is, it's ready to open the app. Now that is awesome, the fact that you can actually launch apps by command. Um, okay, Google Now, help me.
And this is going to show me a list of everything that I can do and tell uh, Google now. So it says, uh, tell Google what to do. Touch the microphone and start talking. Okay, we already knew that. Um, make phone calls. Great. Get directions. Send text messages. Set reminders. Ask questions. Schedule meetings. Play music. Set alarms and just more and more and more. So lots of really cool things that you can do with this. Uh, and once you customize it, it becomes awesome. So um, for more tips and tricks, make sure to check out our videos over at stateattech.net. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos for not only this device, but many of the other fantastic devices out there as well. So thanks a lot and uh, check out our website for more videos.